Jamie, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I left the way I did. Your parents made you go. But I didn't fight them. You said you'd be back for Christmas. My family moved to Sunnyside after I left. I had the same number, but you were just gone. But at least Angela didn't have kids with him. I know Angela had secrets. What's up, Power Fans on YouTube? It's your boy Nino, and I'm back with another Power video. Now, in this video, I'm going to break a theory I have on ghosts possibly having an elderly son apart from Tariq. Now, before everyone goes haywire in the comments, I want you to follow what I'm going to say first before you agree or disagree with this theory. Now, I reiterate, it is a theory. So, if you're ready, let's get straight into it. Now, in this breakdown, I'm going to be using a lot of what ifs. Now, let's go back to the original power where Ghost first met Angela after about 18 years. What we knew was Angela left without saying goodbye to Ghost and never reached out even when his father died. Angela also established that she wished she hadn't left the way she did but she didn't have a choice, right? Now, at the dinner table here where she, Paz and Ghost were having meal, it was established that Angela's father used to chase Ghost away for following his daughter. I remember back in the day when you got grounded for sneaking out to meet Jamie. Papi was pissed. <laughs> you remember that? He was chasing me down the street. Told me to never come back. But I couldn't stay away. So clearly, Ghost and Angela's high school love was having a great opposition by Angela's father and you agree with me that they were having teenage sex at the time. Also, keep in mind that Ghost always said Angela was the love of his life. This is where my theory starts from. So to my what if number one. So what if as a result of young love, Angela got pregnant in the process and the family got to know, especially Paz, and the only way to keep that secret from Ghost from finding out or probably to keep the family away from public embarrassment was to send Angela away. And what if Angela was warned never to tell Ghost about this to avoid certain consequences. Now, what if this was the first reason why Angela had to leave without saying goodbye to Ghost? Now, hold on. Before you type your first comment, wait for this one. What if number two? Now, what if Angela went away all right, the pregnancy secret was kept well, she gave birth, and Paz decided to mother the child for Angela to go back to school. Then the child grew up to know Paz as his mother instead of Angela. What if because of this setback, that was why Paz couldn't get her feet on a job because she was taking care of the child. And that was why Angela seemed to be the one taking care of the son, their father, and everything after she started working. Now, you can start typing your comments before I proceed. Now, if I am a writer, I can keep such secrets for a long time because it has always been established that Ghost always says that Angela was the love of his life. Now, people like this always have something that connects them all their lives. For instance, take Monet, Mecca, and Zeke's situation as an example. Look at how Monet kept this secret and she was Zeke's aunt all this while. I know by now someone will say power doesn't repeat circumstances, but wrong. I can tell you that they do and it runs through even all the spinners. That is not all. Now, take Kate, Tommy, and JP, his brother, for instance. How many of us thought Tommy would have a black brother? Yet, it happened. Even Tony Teresi, Tommy's father, was a shocker at the time. Now, let me even extend this to Raising Canaan, where Detective Howard happened to be Canaan's father after all. And even Canaan died with doubt about Sean and if he was truly his son. So, you see, this would not be impossible if it happens that Junior here, or the guy they call Young, that we thought was past son is actually Ghost's son. A secret Angela never told him till she died. Now, why would Paz risk this for Angela? If you study these two sisters, you understand that Paz would do anything for her sister and she has constantly proved it when she was alive and even when she died. So mothering Angela's son for her will not be a difficult thing to do. Now, pay attention to this conversation. When Junior graduates, we'll have no kids left in the family. There's plenty back in PR. You can bring Nadia's five boys back with you next time you go. Cute. You know what I mean? What's happening with Greg? Now, I know this is very debatable, but what if by virtue of genetics, Paz couldn't be able to give birth? And there was no conversation about the son's father. We didn't see Paz with any man. Even when his tuition fees hope were getting lost since Angela died, there wasn't any conversation around his father or an alternative help. It's like the kid is fatherless. Does this say something? Now listen to this statement from Tasha when she was convincing Paz. Buying into his bullshit. 
But at least Angela didn't have kids with him. Uh, take a look. When Tasha said at least she didn't have any children with ghosts, look at how Pa's face lighted up. She looks more like you don't have an idea there is a real history between your husband and my sister. Then after a long mute, she just walked away from her. Now I know some of you will say Nino is thinking crazy for this one and I'm overthinking this and that. Power writers do not think deep with their writings. This again brings me to my third what if. So to my what if number three. What if all what I just said is true? Ma'am? Agent Young, where's our CI? He's transported out. It's in critical condition. The reoccurrence of this boy in Power Book 2 Ghost will be significant to Tariq's storyline because of Paz and Angela. What if they want to use him to reveal a huge secret? What if we'll see Paz again and this time Paz telling him the truth? What if indeed he is Ghost and Angela's kid? No doubt from his looks, he seems older than Tariq. Then again, someone will question his looks that he's not dark. Well, he's not white either. He has dark hair alright, and it could be possible that Angela's gene dominated that of Ghost when it comes to genetic orientation of a possible offspring between them. In as much as this sound a little too crazy to think of, just think about it, what if it is true? Well, I stated countless times in the beginning that this is my theory the moment I saw Junior resurfaced in Power Book 2 Ghost as a member of the DEA. And this can remain a theory until the writers prove me right by making it possible. Nonetheless, let me know what you think in the comment section below if my ifs make sense at all. And please go easy in the comment section. Let's have an open conversation, not insults, please. Now, some of you complain about not getting notifications anytime I draw videos unless you come and search. I don't know what is happening, but after some small research, I would like you guys to try this first. Turn on your notification bells here and let's see if that works before I make a formal complaint to YouTube about this experience. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell to get notified on my next video, like, share, most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.